it's nomenclature. As you know, chemists just love to give weird names to things. Even though there's no need, they could have simply asked it. Naming scheme, that's what it is. How do you name things? That's it. Now, there are two basic categories of things that we have. One is what we call organic and one is the inorganic. But we are not going to deal with organic today. We'll do it later. So today, what we'll do is we'll learn about inorganic things, things that are not organic. And uh, by that, I mean things that are not majorly made of carbon or things that are other other things made of carbon. So there's a few things that are made of carbon which are inorganic, like carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide. But most of the things that are made of carbon are considered organic. So we're not going into that. We're only considering other stuff. How do you name them and how do you make for them? So we'll start with the things that are ionic. The reason I say it might have a metal in it is that there are ionic compounds with metals which are not organic. Oh, sorry, which are not ionic. An example of that is AlCl3. This thing has aluminum in it, but it is not ionic. Similarly, BeF2. It has beryllium metal in it, but it is not organic. This one, you should know in case the examiner ever asks about it. So you should know that this thing, AlCl3, is not ionic. Not ionic. Okay, so things that are ionic, what do they have? Ionic compounds, we studied them on Tuesday. What are they made of? So refresh so, them all take the question. The question is that ionic compounds, what are they made of? So for example, if I say sodium chloride, what is it made of? Particle. That's a general term. You're playing really charge. safe. <laughs> charged particle. Excellent. Charged particles. They are made of charged particles. What is another term for charged particle that we have? In chemistry. Ions. ions. Yeah, absolutely. Charged particles are ions. There's two kinds of charges, right? There's positive charge and there's negative charge. So there's two kinds of charges, right? And that means there's two kinds of ions. What do we call the positive ion? Cations. Cations, yes. And what do we call the negative ions? Anions. Anions, yes, absolutely. So for ionic things, we will name the cation and then the anion and sometimes we will add ide or ate or ite something like this at the end of the name so that's how the name goes you name the cation you name the anion and maybe you add ide ate ite at the end of the name there's many other things that we add but again we're restricting ourselves to IDCSE O-level syllabus. Let's take an example. I have this ion and this ion. Right now, I'm not caring about the formula. I just have these two ions coming together. So let's name it. The positive ion is sodium. The negative ion is chloride. And that's the name. 